second look. Second look. Girl, yeah. And I just gotta talk Let's go inside. Welcome to my crib. Here's a pile of shit. There's a pile of shit. And that is where I actually shit. So I am exhausted. Oh my Satan. Can't do this. Can't do this. I'm so tired. But we are all tired, not just me. And um, the shoot for today is going to end with me. It's going to be a two day shoot. We, we wanted to finish all of it today, but realistically, we're not going to be able to get all the shots today. I'm a little extra nasally now because I. Oh, look at the dress, you can see. <sighs> yeah, the shoot is going to end with me because we couldn't finish everything in one day. So we're going to do um, my scene and we're going to finish the day. And tomorrow morning, really early, we have to go and shoot what we need because we gotta we gotta leave. Um, we have to check out at 11. So, but I'm gonna go now. Probably gonna start cleaning all of this crap by the time I'm in LA. So it's gonna be like Burning Man, but a little shittier version of Burning Man. I'll join your cult. Can yes. we worship kittens? <laughs> we worship kittens and uh, unicorns. I uh, love unicorns. We drink unicorn pee, actually. Oh, great. <laughs> Did you know unicorn poop actually food. tastes like candy? Like Skittles, right? I love Skittles. If you prefer, <laughs> <laughs> whatever. And uh, getting ready to let uh, Ronnie cake this stuff on himself That's for the uh, final grand ceremony shot. I'm terrified. That's probably good for your skin. Oh, yeah. some custom designs for Farouk. Oh my god. This is a, a sword necklace that actually has a pentagram at the bottom. Oh, of it. I love pentagrams. see that. Yes. Hail Satan. Hail Satan. And I also brought some really cute earrings that have a, oh a pentagram on a, on a moon and it has a dagger at the bottom. And this is a vampire inspired choker that I've made and it has like a, a vial with a blood. little bit of blood. Oh. Is that your blood? I can't say. I I'll can't taste it say. and I'll know. Oh, you'll know. <laughs> oh, this is so sweet. So, I brought these designs for you. You're the best. I love you. <laughs> Thank you. 
should have caught us back at the beach. I'm sorry. She got me. She got me. What, how do you say the name of the candy? Tamarindo. Ah, oh, tamarindo. She got me tamarindo. It's all mine. I'm not sharing it with my mom. F off, mom. It's all mine. <laughs> How did you feel? The walk of shame that we just said. It was not shameful at all. It was the best thing I've ever experienced. In total, do we have just five? What? Two more. Two more. We got two more. Oh yeah, we got two more. Seven. Okay, I'll start by bringing seven waters. Fuck yes, bitch. Fuck. Yes. Oi. Work it. Work it. Work it. <laughs> hey. Oh, hi. Hello. <laughs> Where are we heading to today? Um, we're heading to Hollywood to some of the to uh, Pan Pipes Magical Marketplace. But on the way, I'm gonna surprise you. Not anymore. Oh. By taking you to the main uh, Manson Murder House, which is just a little detour off the way. Where the Tate lot, the Tate murders happen at Roman Polanski's house, 1969. I'm surprised. Ah! How do you know? <laughs> I keep saying over and over, "What have I done to deserve such amazing friends?" <laughs> they get me. They get me. This is the kind of stuff I want to see. How did you yeah, know? Yeah, we'll go to Sephora, but we'll add some creepy stuff here on the. You know, exactly on the a balance. We need balance between makeup and murder. Yeah, makeup and murder. That's the oh, theme of the day. That's amazing. I love it. I love thank you. <laughs> thank you for that. You're the coolest. Thank you so much. How was last night? Did you enjoy yourself? Oh, it couldn't have been better. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Um, what I imagined and more, you know. People were so amazing. Like I it was too dark for me to really add anything to our vlog, but I got a lot of kick-ass fire footage out of it and yeah, people yeah. were just amazing. Everybody just got along as always. And so many wonderful weirdos showed up and the fire was absolutely yes. sublime and beautiful and the, the moonlight and um, much better than going to nightclubs or just doing oh God, yes. trite, yeah. cliche sort of stuff. So. Absolutely. There's yeah. no question about it. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. just, I love my people and I got to meet a lot of um, Ronnie's friends as well, people that Ronnie has been working with and has worked with in the past, some amazingly talented people and so cool to merge our kind of little meetups together and next time I come we should do this again, we should definitely have this happen again. Yeah, it's been such a fun merger of worlds and then it was just weird yesterday, usually there's like 10 or 15 fires on the beach and we were just about the only fire out there so we had the whole beach to ourselves. Yeah, yeah just... for the most part, yeah. Nobody bothered us. I think they were too scared to bother us when they saw no one dared. all the freaks around the, the <laughs> fire. They're like, let's just not go there. They look like they would sacrifice us to Satan and throw us in the fire. And we would have. That's the thing, though. We... They saw Stanton LeVay's face half lit in the fire and just <laughs> ran in terror. <laughs> They're like, oh, he looks quite familiar. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they made the wise decision right. not to mess with us. He trembled in fear. He trembled and we're in gone. fear. <laughs> Be gone, <laughs> mortal. Be gone. <laughs> shoo, normie, shoo. <laughs> we're so mean. Accursed in demise. Yes. <laughs> Whatever he said. He said it better than me. Let's take that. Cut my portion. Put his portion in. <laughs> but yeah, so excited to go on these adventures. Um, Ronnie always knows where to take me. He always takes me to the weirdest places. Um, started in Vegas, this tradition, didn't it? Where others would have taken me to like the strip, you took me to the slums. To where... The dregs of society. Yes, where the shit happens when you gamble too much. The outer hinterlands of Vegas. Which I loved. It was fantastic. Are you kidding? Like that was... I needed to see that or I was gonna gamble. <laughs> I was going to gamble the millions and millions of dollars I brought to gamble. The millions and millions of dollars you paid from Mahafsu. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That. Hiding. That, yes. absolutely. That's right. I was going to gamble it all away, but he saved me. He told me what would happen. He showed me <laughs> what would happen. He showed you the light. Yes. <laughs> and then I was awakened and I did not 
and I instead went to a slot machine and just pressed the button once just to see what the whole deal is about it. And she won 80 bucks. And I did. She's now she's an addicted gambler. So. <laughs> I won 80 bucks. And it was I, all for not uh, one, yeah. one year and out the end. Yes, yes. I'm like, but it feels so good. Rodney, you didn't <laughs> tell me. I feel exhilarated. Oh, I've never been so alive in my entire life. And he's like, oh shit, I messed up. But and I, I, I wasted all of it in Sephora yesterday, which is my drug. So, yeah, I'm still on a high right now. I was showing Ronnie all the, the um, different makeup things I got yesterday from Alta and Sephora. And I thought he's going to be confused, but he's just like, oh, that's interesting how this has the same kind of pigmentation as the other, but it's the same price. And, I was in awe. Yeah. And I've been enjoying seeing this um, process, this work of art come together uh, each morning. You know, with their, their makeup <laughs> Thank endeavors. Thank you so much. Yeah, he sits and watches. It's amazing. <laughs> and I just like, I have I, I have my weird ritual of like setting up my, my little vanity space and he just kind of watches and he's like, oh, interesting. I like what you did there. Thank you for that. I, Mesmerized. I'm a, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You know, I am an artiste. You know? <laughs> but yeah, thank you for, for joining soul. me yeah. on this, in this entry for thank the you. vlog for today. Thank you for joining me. It's been um, the highlight of my year. Oh, so. you're too kind. What have I done to deserve this? But yes, we will, we will check in once we are Bye. If you read Helter Skelter, you can see the picture of that. Really? So where are we right now? What is this? It's weird. It looks like a cop car there. Maybe it's private security or something. This is the um, site of the Manson murders at 10050 Cielo Drive. They changed the address from 10066, I believe. Wow. The murders happened in August 1969. Sharon Tate and her unborn child were killed. And several of Roman Polanski's friends were killed by the Manson family. And uh, if you uh, read the book Helter Skelter, they have a picture of this exact gate. It looks the same where they murdered. They shot at uh, someone who was visiting the guest house on their way. So there's a guy slumped over in the car there named Stephen Parent, and then they went uh, up to the house and they s and and entered in. Uh, they said, "I'm the devil here to do the devil's work," and they slaughtered everybody in horrific fashion. Wow. And the next night or the night after, they went. Two nights after they went and did it again in a different neighborhood. Yeah, so they tore the original um, home uh, that Roman Polanski owned down. Uh, Trent Reznor from Nine Inch Nails owned it in the 90s. And um, somehow I believe he had the door that would pig uh, written in blood on it because they wrote uh, things like pig and rise uh, and war in blood on the wall, uh, you know, um, with the victim's blood on the wall. Uh, Trent Reznor owned it in the 90s and it was sold and they couldn't get market value. It was a multi million dollar house, but no one would pay market value. Uh, for the house because of the notoriety of the Manson murders, so um, they tore the the original house down and built like a um, a bigger mansion, and um, uh, that's where it is today. Uh, they keep changing the address because of people like us uh, <laughs> coming. It was I think it was 10066 originally, then 10050, and then now it's 10048 just to kind of throw off. Um, people curious about the Manson uh, murders or Manson worshippers and people like that which actually do exist out here. <laughs> Have we still managed to find it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, I mean that gate that was in the the, health, the book Helter Skelter and there's many many photographs of it um, and so it's pretty pretty iconic and here it is, here we are. Just soaking in some history and uh, enjoying some weird LA. Weird and morbid LA. I love it. 
I love it. Thank you for bringing me here. It's the least I can do. <laughs> oh, please. It's the very least I can do. I love it. Okay. I'm in awe right now. <laughs> Toy on Sunset, like rock and roll Thai foods, rock and roll themed Thai. <laughs> I was too busy listening to you, but what did you just show me? That area. Oh, I. It was the Sunset Strip, basically the classic rock, uh, you know, famous classic rock section of LA with the uh, the rainbow, um, basically where all the rock stars go after their concerts in LA and hang out and where all the debauchery happened in the <laughs> 80s and 70s. And I showed you the whiskey and the Roxy. And then uh, what we just saw the comedy clubs was called the Laugh Factory. Um, we saw El Compadre. Um, just the Sunset Strip, and now we're gonna head down to Melrose and go to Necromance, one of the cooler shops there, and then maybe you'll find some other shops, we'll find some cold brew. Yes, cold brew. These things, yes. These essential things that we need. Absolutely. We continue on. I'm amazed. I'm speechless village. right now. So much that I had no idea the last times I was in LA. Little did I know this place is magical. Like, so much <laughs> history. Thank you again for taking me. So we just went to Necromance and I got a couple of beautiful pieces of stuff. I forgot what I got now. I got a little demon hand, <laughs> probably a black lizard of some type, and a um, some kind of horn and an empty vial of, for something. And we're gonna go have some coffee because we are caffeine deprived right now and Dying. <laughs> and maybe stop at another little shop called Maya. That I know it's pretty good jewelry. Yes. And um, yeah, the shops come and go here. Uh, so we'll see what we see. We will. Okay. Look what I found. Look at this. Look at this. It looks just like Mr. Horny's. Mr. <laughs> Horny would be happy. Look at that. so excited. I'm just kind of afraid that I have to put this in my carry-on because it's gonna get crushed um, anywhere else and I'm a little bit scared that they're gonna confiscate my horn because I mean it's not sharp enough you can't hurt a person with this it's just it's no and I love it so much I will just lie to them and tell them it's like a part of my body that they they've removed <laughs> or something or I'll say that it's a religious thing like it was passed down by my great, great, great grandmother, and maybe they won't take it away from me. I also got, what did I get? What did I get? It's a haul, guys. It's a car haul. <laughs> Do you know what a haul is? No. Oh, he doesn't know what? Okay, so hauls are cancerous videos <laughs> where people who do a lot of shopping show off to oh. other people what they bought and as I mentioned it's quite cancerous I mean it depends who does it if it's a really interesting friend that you follow that does it I'm not trying to shade I actually know a lot of people that do hauls I like those people therefore their hauls are actually interesting I think but somehow people do choose to click on I, I mean if they're my friends yes but generally like I don't really care it's, anyway haul time guys hashtag haul except today <laughs> we went to Necromance um, and it was on 7222 Melrose Avenue, Los Angeles, California, necromance.com. Oh my god, I can't, I can't wait to show you guys what I got. So I got this really cute horn. You can use it for various different things. You can shove it up someone's butt if they're, if they're annoying you. But you can also just like put it on your altar and um, worship Satan through it. Just like, hail S-H-M-Z. Impalements. You could, you could. Oh my god, you're, you're toad smart. Oh my god, I'm like friends with like rocket scientists. So smart. Like, oh my god. And then I got this tiny little, like, what is this? It's like a little Satan hand. That's what she told me it is. I was like, what is this? And she's like, it's the hand of Satan. I totally believe. When we're getting it. I got this tiny little lizard hand. I don't know if. 
doesn't need to be in there, but whatever. They did that, but it's like a little black lizard head that I fell in love with. And I just bought an empty vial. I passed by this nerdy arcade store and I saw something that was perfect for Sal. So I, I mean, she's always the Charmander because if I'm pronouncing that correctly, I don't know my Pokemons. Because she's got red hair, she's Charmander. So this is usually her. But I got the evolved version for her to wear. This one, if it does focus. And then I got myself the little Charmander. So that's me. That's her. And we're gonna wear it and be nerds together. I'm very excited. Where are we headed to? We're headed to El Compadre. I was thinking of taking you to El Coyote because it was where the Manson family victims ate their last meal, Sharon Tate and her friends, before they were killed. Um, it's been open since the 1930s. An iconic LA spot, but El Compadre is also uh, one of the best Mexican restaurants in Hollywood. And flaming margaritas that we light on fire. <laughs> Unparalleled, so. That's amazing. Something that must happen. This is fantastic. You took me to the site where Sharon Tate was murdered and now you're gonna feed me the food that they ate before they died. <laughs> what is, what are we, where are we headed to next? <laughs> Hollywood Forever Cemetery for my body to be disposed of? Yes. I have the best friends. <laughs> I'm so lucky. Thank you, thanks for that. I feel- be cremated first on the fire. We're kind of doing things in the wrong chronological order. Yeah, we, we had are. our hire last night. Yeah, yesterday we went to a diner. Very and irritable guys. The burgers didn't really seem that amazing to me, so I had a mac and cheese because but I was I afraid. I had the slider. <laughs> then into the parlor came the slider. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> He's here learning all about Ronnie James Dio. And he's so extra. <laughs> and he's saying the part, but what was it? The, the... I bleed for you, said the spider to the fly. <laughs> I'm just like, he sang that. I'm like, is that a, a parody thing? Like, no, 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 that's a song. And he that's played real. it. That was the most. Is that Jack Black? Maybe? Is that Jack Black? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's guy. And he played the metal by Jack Black's band or Jack Black. It was the best. <laughs> like every metal cliche in the book. Please Google it or YouTube it. It's the, the best. Metal. The metal. It comes from hell. Venice. Yes, we're going to Venice Beach, California. Um, taking a little stroll on the boardwalk. See all the Venice crazies, and the madness, and the history. I'm excited for them. Very bohemian place. Very wild, wild child. Uh, the doors were there. Suicidal tendencies as my favorite band, my favorite new band. <laughs> Suicidal tendencies um, for sure. Yes, yes, a lot of very, very artsy. Um, Kind of a vibe. It's been a bit gentrified, but still has some of the same uh, character. Check out all the madness there, and take take a bike ride to the Santa Monica Pier and back, and uh, see what else we can get into. Exciting! I am excited. If we don't fall over these, <laughs> gosh darn! <laughs> get your scooter off my lawn. <laughs> yeah. These scooters are everywhere. Are we gonna use those, or are we gonna bike? Uh, Either one you'd like to do. I mean, I'm down for both. Yeah, yeah. Or either. Or neither. Any, any, money, mo. Yeah, let's do it. I'm excited. <laughs> this is so cool. I saw a tiny bit of Venice Beach, but we were trying to find parking, and I'm terrified, and I'm excited. It was a carnival town uh, in the early 1900s, designed after Venice, Italy. So you get a little bit of that in the architecture and in the carnivalesque kind of a vibe. They did tear down the carnival and all the amusements like, I don't know, 60 years ago. And it became basically a slum that no one wanted to live in. 
in the 50s and 60s, they called it the slum by the sea. <laughs> and then at that point, of course, when an area gets beaten down, that's when all the artists and poets and, and freaks, in a good way, um, start to move in. And then when they do, that's followed by a wave of rich people and then it becomes, then all the artists have to move out and it becomes unaffordable and that is gentrification. And welcome to Venice, welcome to gentrification. <laughs> <laughs> Our lesson for the day. I'm learning so much, <laughs> Professor Ronnie. <laughs> Professor Pister, thank you. <laughs> all right, let's do this. <laughs> We're here. We made it. Yes. We made it. Yeah. I've seen this place in so many bloggers' videos. It's standard. You just kind of have to see this place, you know, at least once or twice. You know, and you get drawn back here. You know, I don't come here all the time, but this is part of LA. So. Let's come every single time I visit, okay? Because this is more my speed right now. <laughs> here and, and got rid of all the places that the locals love like this place um, and just turned it into whatever garbage he wanted so he's very very unpopular right here the snapchat yeah fuck you snapchat <laughs> guy okay. it used to be um a speakeasy that smuggled alcohol during prohibition they'd smuggle it in from the ocean and bring it up underneath through the the basement wow. of the townhouse it's still a pretty cool bar and they have live gigs there you know the bands there sometimes I've seen friends play there, something like that. Okay, so we finished our scooter ride and now we are gonna grab a bike because the police stopped us and said that we can't take our bikes deeper inside. My eye makeup's really smudged. We are going to Hollywood Forever Cemetery and my most cult leader looking outfit. A um, ring that a, a fan gave to me, a really good friend of mine now last night, not last night, the night before during the meetup and because it's a grave, it's perfect for where we're going and this man right here this guy this guy <laughs> keeps reoccurring the best! oh that's amazing! That that's the best and we're gonna go see Vampire's grave and we're gonna watch and a Ros movie Williams. Ros Williams' grave and we're gonna watch um, a movie called, what was it? Barbarella. Barbarella. Science fiction movie. Yes, we're gonna do that. Yes. And hopefully we'll see some friends there as well. Yes. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Super dark, where are we? I got a mouthful right now, but um, Hollywood Forever Cemetery. There's an SB of film screenings in the cemetery on Douglas Fairbanks Mausoleum, the silent film actor. Yeah. Super excited. There's so many people here. It's like a little camp. And we're waiting for our friends to arrive if they can get a ticket. And we're gonna watch. What was it called? Barbarella? Barbarella, yeah. Barbarella. Science fiction film. And you can't have an LA trip without doing a cemetery screening. It's like an LA signature event. I that I've always loved being here. So glad to be able to share. <laughs> glad to be Thank able to, to, to share. I had no idea this was a thing.
great. Yes, it was. <laughs> yes, it was. Did you like it? I enjoyed the fuck out of that movie. My favorite character was Pygor. The, what, Pygor. Pygor to the left. Pygor the angel. He he but he blind. Duran Duran was like Dr. Evil. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Evil. That was the best. Hey, Hello. we're waiting. Oh, were we? We're suffering from slow elevators at the Beverly Center. Oh, yes. How fucking dare they? <laughs> how dare they do this? Yeah. This is the weirdest elevator I've ever seen. Look at that. Why is it fucking touch screen? Where's my fucking elevator? Where is it? The elevator was a little bit too extra for us, so we're gonna be looking for the escalator. It wasn't gonna take us up, so. Walking, this place is big. We're hoping the escalator will be basic. Yeah, we, we're used to basic things. Yeah. People like us, we can't handle this extra nonsense, but oh, it already looks like it will be extra. Let's go see what happens. Oh, that way, we're going up. Are we going up? Yes. Oh, it's pretty. This place is interesting. I'm excited. I want to find a Sephora. I ran out of my foundation. Uh, so I'm gonna put him through another little test of me running around trying shit. Oh, okay, really? The thing is, I want to make him suffer with the Sephora thing. I want to see how much he can handle before he can't handle anything. You're gonna have to try a lot harder than that. I will. I'll put some stuff on you. <laughs> have you ever had highlighter on? I don't know what that is. But, exactly. But you're welcome to do so. If you like. <laughs> <laughs> Here. Let's try to find the toilet. <laughs> so we found the Sephora amongst all the designer stores there. That mall was surprisingly clean and quiet and nice. And we thank you for helping me find the Sephora there. I was just gonna walk in circles. I ran out of my foundation, which is the Urban Decay one, um, which I usually wear now um, if I don't want you know, full, full coverage. And I ended up actually not getting that, but I'm, I'm trying a new one that's pretty similar to it in, in many ways. It's the um, the new Benefit one. I've actually never really purchased any Benefit stuff. Um, this is the, what is it called? The Hello Happy Soft Blur Foundation. And then while I was there, I got myself a tiny little Sephora coconut water cleansing wipes try out on the go because I'm going to be traveling for the next couple of weeks after LA is done with which I'm kind of sad when it when it'll end this whole adventure of ours but um, and then I got something again never purchased anything from this brand uh, the Huda brand um, she's beautiful I love how she does her makeup and she seems like such an amazing person and but I've never I never really cared to try any of their stuff out but got myself a Huda liquid lip color this is a heartbreaker and um, it's a nice well I wiped it off my arm but uh, it's not your typical like red and I don't really think I have a red quite like this it's more wearable than your um, dark dark red so excited to try this out night time where are we going at night the stinking rose uh, why is it called the stinking rose <laughs> it's one of the two best garlic restaurants in Los Angeles and but I'm a vampire we can't do can't that get the stink off of you of garlic for days. you're taking a vampire <laughs> to a garlic restaurant we'll see what result will <laughs> what results from uh, I love garlic garlic's the best yeah I'm excited and um, hopefully I won't die I won't burn or anything like that but we will see. We will see how it goes. We we drove past it and the car just smelled like garlic. And I was like, is it that bad? Like it's across the street. Why is the car smelling like garlic? I'm excited. And see if you survive or when or the next uh, vlog might be a eulogy. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> she died, but she died happy. She went to Sephora, so she was fine. Um, but yeah, very excited. Bye. Bye. Do it, do it.
Yes, there you go. Very vampiric for a garlic pit. Garlic restaurant. Uh, we're at, we're stinking, oh, yeah. stinking yeah. roses. We're stinking roses. <laughs> stinking rose. Stinking rose. Just a single rose. Just one stinks rose that very stinks. Much. Like me, yeah. I'm a rose that stinks. <laughs> the opera house into a performance space, and then nobody would come because it's in Death Valley, you know, because there's barely any. Middle of nowhere. Middle of nowhere. Just like a building out of nowhere. Yeah. So she painted an audience on the wall from the 1600s uh, of the opera house, and she would perform there every night for nobody, for a big audience. <coughs> if we sing loud enough, YouTube won't recognize us.